Hey YouTube, so today we are talking the concept of proximity, okay? And that is how much does your dog like to stay close and be close? Because that's going to influence whether they walk nicely on a lead, it's going to influence whether they come back when cold. It's going to influence, let's be honest, whether they can even go off lead. Yeah. Because actually a dog who doesn't really want to be in proximity is always difficult when you let them off lead. Like yeah. it's just not easy. Yeah. And so what we thought we'd do is show you what we'd, we would see as kind of three proximity boosts that we see as being absolutely vital when it comes to growing proximity. So we're going to use our dog's daily food allowance. And the first game that we're going to have a little play of, and we're going to link of how to teach this game from scratch below this video, is called Middle. Now, break. all Middle is, is actually, can your dog be in Middle and, <laughs> and want to be in Middle? And when... <laughs> So I love this game. When, um, when they, uh, I guess, when you release them forward, where do they want to go back to? <laughs> I love it when they try and catch. I love it when they actually manage that bang bang. <laughs> I it's know. too funny. It's great. So this is middle. This is a great one to grow your dogs. Um, and. It has actually saved us a number of times yeah, with our own oh God, dog. Yeah. So, I mean, for Easy, yeah. uh, my border collie, this saved her from, yeah. from not being allowed off lead, really. Yeah. Because I actually didn't know that I was going to be able to get her back when she would go distances <laughs> and fields ahead. And this yeah. was my go-to game. It's a brilliant game. Like Tom said, you can get it in the links below. And so, actually, whether you're at it at the very, very start, or whether you're at this stage, it's a brilliant proximity game. Now, the next layer of this, and the cool thing is, is that if you teach middle, you kind of got a head start on this, and I'll show you in a second, is side. And that is your dog coming to your side and matching and mirroring your movement at your side. Okay, so break. I'll show you middle again. So we're doing middle, doing middle, break. And all I'm going to do is bring her around here. All I'm going to do is bring her around here. Now, see what I did there? I was doing middle. We're doing middle, doing middle, doing middle. Good, and I just closed my legs and captured her just there. So effectively I'm saying, right, let's do middle. We're doing middle, we understand the idea of middle. Now, what if actually I bring you back to my side? Can we match and mirror at my side as well? So you can see, how this would be a great little um, recall game, a great little loose lead walking game. A, a brilliant game just hang to on, see, okay, there's on. lots going on in the distance. Come over here and hang out with me because there's something that's maybe not appropriate for you to go and yeah. investigate. It's a fantastic game. You'll want it in your repertoire and it's definitely, definitely one that's so easy to teach and all off the base and the foundation of middle. Now, third game that we're going to show you. It's a favourite and it is leg weaves, okay? So this involves your dog weaving in and out of your legs, in and out of your legs, and then thinking, it's the best place to be near my owner, right? So I'll show you, break. I'm just going to send her over there. I'm going to bring her here, round, feed there. Bring her here, round, feed there. Bring her here, round, feed there. But then I can quickly start to actually grow repetitions and see, I know, and see that she wants to go round my legs and be in proximity. So again, we're getting a dog that actively is saying, you know what, this is a pretty cool place to be. There are already like three different things I can do in that area. None of them involve being captured and put back and on lead. <laughs> remember, this is your dog's daily food. You know that here at Absolute Dogs, home of the training academy and our pro dog trainers, this is how we train our dogs. We ditch the bowl. It's enriching for our dogs and it's enriching for us too, actually, because it's way more fun than sitting in and not actually moving, not getting up, not putting some energy in. For me, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant way to utilize that ditch the bowl, but in yeah. a really productive way. So that when both Tom and I go out walking our dogs, we don't think twice about unclipping the lead no. on our dogs that have been through this program, these training games and, and played lots of the layers and the concept yeah. training that we do, because we absolutely know that even if recall might be difficult, either a middle or a leg weave or a side or any of the other games that we play here at Absolute Dogs, they're going to work. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely going to work and they combat the environment each and every time. So that was this episode of Absolute Dogs TV. Magma showed you just a few of the proximity games that we like to play here at Absolute Dogs. Linked below this video is how to teach middle. And remember that you're cheating by teaching two things at once and when you teach middle. Most of all, if you have not already, share, share, share away. Sharing is caring. Giving is living. Living is giving. Make sure all of the people 
people around you know about this and the way that we play games. It's changing dog training and making transformation happen all over the world. So many better relationships as a result of playing games. You help to really increase that ripple. And absolutely, we're here again next week and we can't wait to see you. Remember, game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.